Hello, welcome back to your channel. And uh, this time, I'm going to talk about this uh, free open source mix mode level circuit simulator. So mix mode, it means it can help to analyze and simulate analog circuit as well as digital circuits. So what you see here, the name of the software is NG Spice. It's an open source Spice simulator. Spice stands for simulation program with the emphasis on the integrated circuit. So it's basically a circuit uh, Spice simulator to help you simulate your electric and electronic circuits. And it has a library of various components such as fades, bipolar, and the MOS transistor, as well as some passives like RLCs. You have diodes, transmission lines, and other devices, all interconnected in a netlist. So <clears throat> we have seen before what a netlist is. As you can see that when you connect the devices and the components uh, to each other on the through the schematic simulator, <clears throat> schematics uh, editor, you basically can generate the automated netlist that describes the interconnection of the components and its uh, spice model parameters like here. And it also <clears throat> indicates your terminals of the devices. So as you can see that uh, this is a website uh, from where you can actually download this uh, circuit simulator. I am going to give you the link to this website in the description, okay? Uh, so digital circuits, uh, as I said, can be simulated as well. Uh, you can also, this simulator is quite fast uh, and you can simulate the digital logic from single gates to complex circuitry and you can also have combination of analog as well as digital circuit that's why we call it as a mixed mode so there are wealth of device models for the active passive analog and digital elements and uh, the model parameters are provided by the semiconductor device manufacturer, just like in any other uh, SPICE uh, simulator. Or you can also have the device models from the semiconductor foundries. So what you do is that you basically, as a user, you add your circuit as a netlist here. There is no schematic editor with this circuit simulator. This is important to note. We'll explore that, whether it is. But in my experience, there is no schematic editor. You have to write a netlist as shown. And the output after that, when you simulate this netlist, output is one or more of the graphs of, uh, let's say, a current voltages or other electrical quantities. and. Uh, or it, is, or it is saved in a data file, okay? So as you can see here, it's written, ng-spice does not provide a schematic entry and its input command is uh, line or file based. And uh, there are, however, third party interfaces available. So we'll uh, need to explore that, uh, what it means by that. So, you see that uh, this is the 
description of uh, the transistor MOSFET MN14, MN15 and so on. And these are the three terminals like uh, 14, 16, 15, 0, 0, something like that. And N1 is the, it is an NMOS transistor. So it's basically 16, 15, 0, 0 are the uh, terminal drain, source, gate. We need to refer to the model. And then uh, N1 indicates it's an NMOS transistor. Then these are the model parameters like width, length, uh, drain area, and uh, source area, and uh, so on and so forth. This, this is C1 that is connected between node 18 and 0. It has a value of 0 0.1 picofarad, that is uh, 100 nanofarad. Then dot tran is run from, that is the transient analysis, uh, run from 0 0.1 nanosecond to 150 uh, nanosecond uh, user initial conditions. Then there is a dot control command. And this is actually, you have to write this syntax and you need to be conversant with the uh, writing the netlist and all that. Then uh, you write what you want to plot. For example, you write the command dot plot V of 18, that is plot the voltage at node 18 and uh, then expression, for example, thousand times negative of I V D D then uh, limit y limit or something like that so it is quite uh, you need to be a very friendly user or friendly and you need to be uh, quite practicing with that so that you can uh, make less mistakes in syntax writing then this is your output window after you simulate the circuit it shows you what temperature usually it's a room temperature that you simulate your circuit at uh, so you can also apply P spice or LT spice device model parameters and netlist for simulating the discrete uh, circuits. Okay. And uh, you can also read the H spice device libraries from the semiconductor foundries for simulating the ICs. Uh, and for example, you have a netlist extracted from P spice or LT spice or H spice. You can bring it back to NG spice and simulate that. And uh, it is uh, compatible to be run on MS Windows. Uh, these are the download web links where you can actually download the information. So that's it. And as I said, this is free version. So you can uh, use it for your uh, for for your usage. So we'll click here what is ng spice and it shows us like it's a mixed mode simulator. Uh, there is a code written for that. And uh, these are the earlier versions. Uh, is an extension of ng-spice that is uh, another uh, kind of uh, softwares that you can explore that. So the Spice 3 is the most popular circuit simulator, right? And uh, this is a de facto standard for simulating uh, circuits. Then the Insider is a circuit level simulator to decent device simulator with good simulation accuracy and all that. Let us have a look at the screenshots. So here are the screenshot pages. So showing you the graphical outputs. So these are like uh, some screenshots by various users, how they, how they do it. For example, you see, you click here, and uh, this is how you can uh, get the output. And this is your G schematic. Okay, so G schematic is also is uh, given, so you can actually uh, draw the schematic. It seems. Well, you see that. Go back, and then download option here. So you just uh, download it, and uh, and G spice in installation, and these are all commands that will 
be there. A lot of tutorials are also given. So click that. So NGSpice tutorials for beginners. Then there's, there's a control language uh, for electrothermal simulation also there and so many others uh, there. On the website also, you have a lot of tutorials. You can refer to that. There is a video available tutorial by IIC Bangalore here. They have uh, shown the usage of this. Uh, there is a there are videos by uh, Tom Anderson, Social Research Insights, and Portuguese language, Chinese language, and so many things you can explore. There is a course where uh, slides of course, idea introduction, right? So it's quite interesting to ex explore this kind of uh, circuit simulator. So you can see on this page, NGSpice has been used to develop a lot of potential applications such as uh, you can use this uh, uh, CMOS process design kit of 130 nanometer technology process node from Google or Skywater. So you have this PDK that you can use along with your NGSpice and uh, X schematic like the schematic simulator to simulate your circuit in a real technology node. And that's free. Second is you click here, you have KiCAD, as we know, it's another free open source circuit simulator that you can combine with NGSpice. So KiCAD will act as a front end to the NGSpice to draw your schematic entry and you will have control of the simulator. So there it says there are numerous examples uh, ranging from audio power amplifier to power supply, linear and SNPS, and like CMOS, tubes, and others. You can design phase lock loop. You can design and simulate delta sigma modulator, converter, actually. You can design and simulate membristor. And a lot of example circuits are given. So let's explore one by one. For instance, we click examples here. And this is taking us to the new website. And there is this forum of the KiCAD where they have uh, given some information about uh, your example files. So you see, uh, it's quite uh, wonderful to see uh, that you can basically uh, take your schematic editor skills, connect that extract the netlist and uh, you can simulate this circuit either in the keycard itself or you can just take the help of ngspice so we in our video channels we have a lot many videos about how to do spice circuit simulation how to perform different analysis to so do subscribe and refer to that and you will have a lot of other things so this is like class a audio amplifier uh, that is the file then this is your audio amplifier again uh, for simulating that. Then this is your audio amplifier with operational amplifier. Uh, this is the circuit for 741 IC, a transistor-based circuit, complete schematic and simulation. And then external circuit inverting amplifier has also been given for that matter. So you see, this is how a lot of examples um, are there, right? Let me scroll down. This is cell and key band pass filter. Somebody has uh, given that. So you can just take access these files and uh, try to simulate them. We go back to our original window uh, to see uh, other examples, this is for example, uh, phase lock loop is, uh, is with the analog devices and digital code model, okay? Uh, so in this uh, directory, you can actually see that uh, file. And then there is this mix mode circuit lies delta sigma converter. Again, you have that. So for example, you click here, and it will take you to new internet window. 
and these are the files readme files then you have a dot cir stands for socket file your schematic file actually all uh, right so for example if you click here then you need to have xpy software installed on your computer then only you will be able to access that okay and uh, that's it so a lot of information about ng spice so we are going to explore this keycad ng spice in our channel and we'll have a lot of uh, things so the advantage here is that you have all these uh, softwares free open source so you don't have to worry much about uh, other information okay so that's it so stay tuned for more informative and updates and content about that and we'll see that so here he said this is a memory store and sub circuit has been simulated right here so we'll keep doing that okay stay tuned